Okay, good. Yep, which question? I need a for paper one, I need mm. question. Is it, is it, I think it's question two C. Question two C, let me see. Uh, okay. <coughs> question two C. No, this is paper mm. two. Yeah, this one. No, there's paper, there's paper 2 and paper 1. Yeah, yeah. So, which yeah. one you're talking about now? I'm talking about paper 1 question. Paper 1 question. This is paper 1 question 2, right? This is paper 2. This is paper oh. 1 question 2. Oh, C. Yeah, C. Yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see from your position? Yes. Okay, good. So, basically, they ask whether it's a terminating, decimal or repeating. So, just ask. Uh, what is terminating? What is repeating? Stop lah, means whether you stop yeah. or not. Then repeating means? Repeating is you keep on going. Yeah, quick score, that means there is a pattern lah, but yes. uh, non-stop lah. Mm, yeah. Okay, so we have talked about this concept, right? So you just use your calculator lah. 7 over 15, show me the answer from your calculator. So 7 over 15. 7 over 15 is... Mm. From the calculator. 0.4666 mm, So repeating uh, and, and there's a 7 Yeah lah, repeating yeah. This is the way I represent yeah. 0.46 The 6 is repeat The yeah. 6 repeats itself, right? Yeah. So I put a dot on top So that's it Okay So yeah. it's a repeating decimal lah But there's a 7 at the back What do you mean by there's a 7 at the back? Yeah, oh, they round, they round for you Hi Yep mm. <laughs> They round for you already. Oh, so they round for They round for you already. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, but uh, the, the actual one should be 0 0.4666. But due to the limitation of your calculator, so uh, they round for you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then how about mm. question C2? Mm. Okay, so in a way you have this 0 0.34 with uh, dot above 3 and 4, right? Yeah. So what you're going to have is you're going to have this 0.34, 34, and 34, and on and on, right? Yeah. So how do you get this? <coughs> okay, how do you get this in its simplest form? Hmm? How? So, um, if you times the, if you times the 100, so you get 34.34, right? Yeah. So 34.34 is in a way is 34, 34 over 100, lah, yeah. something like this, right? Right? Yeah. So in a way, right, this is very, very close to 34 over 100. Okay? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So um, you divide by 2, you get 17. You, get, you divide by 2, you get 50, right? Yeah. Right? So you just test, uh, test. So 70 over, it's okay. 17 over 51, you get 1 over 3, right? Yeah, cannot. So basically, the, the, okay. Okay, so this, so what I'm trying to say is 0 0.34, 34, 34, right? So you look to the right, look to the left. So the, the, the left one means the smaller one is 0 0.34. Yes. Okay, which is, uh, 17 over 50 as a fraction mm -hmm. and then you look to the this side is 0 0.35 okay mm -hmm. it's 0 0.35 so 0 0.35 is 35 over 100 so uh this divided by 5 is 7 divided by 5 is 20 okay uh, so this in between now so it's in between so it's in between um uh this 17 over 50 and 7 over 20 so you need to let me launch this. Mr. Yes. How do you get 0 0.35? Look to the left, look to the right. First thing first, you need to know the number line. Okay. Get it into a number line. Okay. So your this um, 0 0.34 is... This is your 0 0.34, 34, 34, 34, continue, right? So look to the left, I mean the smaller one is 0 0.3, 0 0.34.
look to the right is 0.35 so what is this infraction what is this infraction go ahead Yep, I just did that. And um, 0 .7, 7 over I just did that. Okay? Then, in between. So, in order to get the in between, right? In order to get the in between, uh, you need to uh, get it into the same denominator. So, if you get it into the same denominator, this is 34 over 100. Yeah. If you get the same denominator, this is 35 over 100. Yeah. Right? So, this one is in between. So let's see. Can you use a calculator? Yeah. So you times a you let's say you, you you increase it to two so this will be what you times two because in between there's nothing like yes it there's something but it's 34.5 but it doesn't make sense right yeah. then how i searched online mm. and i i did it on like by the how the online mm. did it they make like 0 0.3434 mm. into x mm. You understand this or not? No. Okay, good. Actually, we 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 talk about this the other time. Um, over here. I think the other time. Um. So basically, right, your this zero point three four, right? Okay. So is equal to zero point three four three four three four three four, right? Yeah. So you let this be x or u la, or you let it be u la. So then you times hundred u so you are going to get 34.34343434 right yeah. and then what you need to do is if you can tell uh, you you use the 34.3434 minus the the, the the this one so you use 100 u minus the u you will end up with 99 u right yeah. and actually 99 u is equal to 100 u is equal to 34.3434 non-stop minus the 0 0.34 non-stop yes. right yeah. so therefore is equal to 99u so this one will give you a very good number which is 34 because the because the 34 repeating 34 repeating will cancel each other mm -hmm. right yeah. so therefore you get 99u so therefore u equals to 34 over 99 yeah. that's the fraction yeah, but why is mm. why 0.34 because you want to get rid of this the, the, the behind one so if I give you 0 0.7 how do you get minus. you let you so this is going to be the 7 like this right yeah. so you let you be 0.7 top okay then in this case, you don't times 100, you times 10 is enough. 10U. So 10U is going to give, give you 7.7 dot, .7 right? Yeah. Right? So 10U is enough, no need 100. Just now 100 because yes, got two, 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 yeah, two repeating. So all you need to do is 10U minus the U. So this will give you 9U, right? Yes. But 10U minus U in terms of the value, uh, it will get rid of the, it will get rid of this. That will give you 7, right? Yeah. So it's 9u. So u is equal to 7 over 9. So this is the fraction that represents this. So where's the... Ah, so this one will represent the... This one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's how you do it. Okay. <coughs> okay? Yes. I think we practiced this question the other time. Okay? Mm -hmm. mm. So that's it. I also need... Oh, the least possible. So you need to uh. Because I I thought that the dimension and area is the same. I thought the least possible dimension. Dimension, you know what dimension? Dimension is something times something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um. 
the least possible dimension so you just need to minimize so basically your 29.35 right 10.14 right you need to use two decimal places to round right so you round you round two decimal places you get this you round two decimal places you get this right there are two ways to round one is round up the other is round down okay so in fact from this you go to this if you round up right if you round up uh, this one is going to be smaller okay if you use round up if you use, go, you use round up right you round up two decimal places your this one must be smaller so let's say if you round up this will be two nine three round up right yeah. so the, the 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 it can be uh uh three no three four five right yeah. right that's called round up right yeah. right so you so if you round down if you round down eh? It'll be 29.3 3, four, five, 4, right? Yeah. Okay, so round down. It'll be uh, 29.354, right? Yeah. So which one overestimate? So you want, so now you want the least possible, right? Yeah. So you want the smallest possible. Yeah. So you want the bigger number or you want the smaller number? Smaller. Yeah, so basically you pick this one now as the the, the the length and I'm going to use the same technique for the for the uh, 10.14 then you get another number lah. Mm. so write down the least possible dimension I think they ask for the dimension means I think it, it, are they looking for this answer times that one or they look for the um, they look for the area because the, in, in question 3, um, 2 uh, Okay, then must be must be the this number lah, in number in number format because uh, part 2 asks you to estimate the area to correct to, so you just use this times this then you, you yeah, to one significant figure correct okay, okay? Yeah. so that will give you the least possible okay, so you, you want to round up okay, you use the round up technique yeah. because only when you round up uh, you get a smaller number you don't want to round down uh, because round down you get the biggest possible that is another another question uh, if they ask you for the biggest possible does it make sense yeah. okay good next <coughs> I, I need the last uh, let me see mm. this is connecting uh. oh, good need, school now i just need paper two oh paper two uh. yeah mm. nine, nine. Mm. Nine, mm. question nine. Mm. Okay, question let me nine. let me introduce you to okay these days I, I I'm going to uh, a government secondary school and teach. I learned something from them about the factorization. This question. Let me get the question over. So it's eighteen A. I have already taught you my method, huh? Yes. So I'm going to teach you another one. Okay. So what they what they do in school is this. Okay? So okay, let me just tell you what, what they are actually what is behind the scenes what they are using so if you are 15 you have 24 right so what they what you do is you give a 3 you get a 5 you get an 8 right so anything common nothing so stop right so they use a similar technique ask yourself what is common a is common right so if okay i mean just look at it yeah. if a is common you're left with 18 right yeah. then here you left with 21 b right yeah. then here you left with 33 c yeah. what else is common you can put a 3 right so 6, 7b, minus 11c, right? Yeah. So very good. So the common term is 3a. So therefore, 3a, 6 plus 7b minus 11c. So this is how they do it for factorization. Okay, instead of doing it, the, the one that I asked you to split the elements, mm -hmm. uh, you can also do it this way. Okay. okay, then there is one more question I want to uh, talk about, and uh, you should no okay so um how do you do this question can you try this question how do you do this question 
just see a blank blank space, then you can just do it already. Can I take a look at your this compass? Yes. Mm. I think you can go quite far, but I'm not sure if it's fine enough. Hmm. Hmm. Good. This is a good one also. Yeah. Very good. This is a good one also. Six ninety about there lah. Let's see. <coughs> do I solve it or do I factorize? Factorize it. Oh, okay. Did we talk about this question last time? Yes. Okay. I want to uh, teach you a new approach. Is it 2a plus 3c? Then you bracket, bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your first step? You can just... You can just... Because they already said 2a bracket, mm -hmm. a minus b bracket, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can... Because they already... Take out that. Yep, 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 yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so you can just write two a plus three c. Mm -hmm. uh, bracket two a plus three c bracket, then bracket two a minus b. You don't sound. You don't sound coherent. Like you also don't know what you are talking about. Right. I think it's correct. Oh, okay. So what's your answer? Bye. Oh wait, let me write it. Yeah, you need to write it down, yes. This. Okay. But I'm not sure if that's the B come first or the A come first. Wait. Okay, what, 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 what have you done? Can you tell me what have you done? No, 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 no don't look at this. Say what I look at. Look at this one and this one. Which one? Yes, what have you what, what have you done here? No, I, I copied down the question. Alright, what's the question? So what's, what's the final answer there? This question. I thought this is A minus B, this is B minus A. Yeah, so... Can you, you cannot take out what? Not common. Factorization is about taking out common factor. So you don't see any common factor. Mm -hmm. Then how can you just... You understand my point? Yeah, wait, let yeah. me... Yes. So what is the approach we use to talk about? But today I'm going to introduce another approach to you. <coughs> which I learned uh, while teaching the uh, secondary two students or sec one uh, I can remember never mind I think you have forgotten you must remember uh, this one is a very common question okay approach one what you observe is there is no common factor here Okay, there is no common factor here. Okay? Yes. Hold on, uh, let me just... Okay, so there is no common factor. But they, 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 there are something that looks similar. Okay? This one and this one. Yes. They look similar, but they are not the same. Yeah. So when they are not the same, you cannot take out common. Okay, so, but they look similar in 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 in, in a way. Um, this is a minus b, that is b minus a. 
So the order of them is different. This is A minus B, and you wish you have A minus B on that side also. Yeah. Okay, you wish. So you need to do something to make sure that that side is also A minus B. You can change the so, plus and minus sign. Okay, hold on. That maybe is another approach. What is the usual approach is you don't do anything to this. Okay? Let's say you want to play with A minus B. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you open the behind one. Because once you open it, right, then you can rearrange. So you want A minus B, right? So therefore you want to bring the A in front. Yes. When you bring the A, uh, A in front, right, you bring the, the, the B to the back. This is called rearrangement. Okay? Rearrangement means the order, just rearrange. When you rearrange, do you change the sign? No. No. When you change the sign? Um, when, if it's like, like in front is minus and behind is a plus. No. When you change the sign, when you move. This, this is also movement, right? But this movement is rearrangement. Which movement you need to change the sign? Minus become plus, plus become minus. Oh, when there's a minus. Right. No. Huh. Okay, good. So, when you are doing this. Okay, when you have a equal sign, if you move 5a over the equal sign, then you change the sign. So, 2a, 5a here, becomes minus 5a. This one, you move to this side, right? Yeah. So, the minus 3b is also minus 3b. But this is plus 3b, you move over. So therefore, you change the sign. So when you move over the equal sign, you change the sign. But this is rearrangement. There is no moving over the equal sign. It's just, it's just like you, you come to the front and go to the back. Okay? Yeah. Okay? So this is rearrangement. Don't change the sign. So continue. Copy down. So I just want to bring the A in front and then the B at the back so that I can have A minus B later. So, how to get A minus B later? Okay, so now you ask yourself, just now you take out the plus 3C, right? And you end up with B minus A, right? So in, so now, instead of taking out plus 3C, because you, if you take out the plus 3C, uh, you're going to end up with B minus A. Right? So instead of plus 3C, uh, you should take out plus 3 or minus 3? Minus 3. C and A. This one, minus 3, minus three. then C, this will be minus B. Minus. Okay? That's how you split this uh, 3CB into minus 3C and minus B. Then, therefore, I think you can... So what is common? Minus 3C. Yeah, minus so minus 3C, then left, this is gone, right? So left with A minus B. So can you see that they have something common already? Exactly the same. So you take out... Exactly the same, gone. So you end, you 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 end up with this. So this is the approach. Okay. So once again, uh, some very um, um, small um, trivial mathematics, and you still uh, have problems. Meaning, rearrangement. No need to change sign. When you need to change sign, when you move things over, the equal sign. Okay, rearrangement on the same side, no. So let's say if I give you this. Instead of moving this over, you just want to put this in front. Do you change the sign? No. No. Why? Because never over the equal sign. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so minus. <coughs> so if you continue, it's still minus 3p plus 5a. Understand? Okay, good. So let's come back to this. This is one approach. Another approach. You must remember this, huh? because this is a very common uh, question. So once again, like I say, this A minus B, this is B minus A. They are kind of like similar, but they are not exactly the same. So they are not common. They, can, they cannot be considered common. So if they are common, you cannot take out. But what you can do is, you force, you force it to be A minus B. It means you exchange the, 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 the position. Okay, from B to A to A to B. Then if you force this 
change of position uh, you need to change the sign okay so plus become minus uh, in this case so therefore take out the common factor a minus b so you get 2a minus 3c so similarly if you get this kind of question can you see that they are kind of like similar but the position is different so what you can do let's say you want to play with 1 minus c so you force force the change of position then you must change the sign in front plus 2 so therefore you get p plus 2 because you take out common one right okay so that's the answer so this is the second approach okay then what about this Can you do anything to it? Is it just the position is different? Or? The, the what else is different? The sign. The sign is also different. Yeah. So you have two differences. Mm -hmm. Can you use that technique? No. You can't. Okay? So just one position is different. Then you can. But if you have more than one, cannot. Then what about this? How? Uh, Do you change the position and change the sign? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. So you are telling me I need to change the position. Right? And I that's because I changed the position so I need to change the sign. No need. Why no need? Because it's a plus. Uh huh, yes. So because one plus C is equal to C plus one. Yeah. So no need. No need change of sign yeah. for this case. In fact, when you do 1 plus C or C plus 1, they are the same. So in a way, right, you can quickly just, just rewrite. That's, that's the reason why I say uh, the change of position, right, does not affect the sign. So just now I change of the position. So, one, so what I'm trying to say is C plus 1, right? So this is plus 1, this is C. I change position, so I bring it, I bring it in front, right? I bring it in front, so there is no change of sign. Okay? But for that one, yes. Okay? So remember. Uh, okay, good. This is a very, very common question. And a lot of students, they get it wrong. Okay. Right? Next. I need a question. I'll be stuck <coughs> Paper that, 2. Uh. Yeah. Mm. The last few questions. Mm. I need question 10. Wait, for question 7, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. What is the angle? I think <coughs> angle on a straight line. Mm, angle on a straight line, yes. Correct. Right? Correct. Okay. Mm, mm. For the which, which one you're talking about now? Uh, I'm talking X. About X. Mm, uh, yes, yes. How about Y? Y is the angles on the straight line. X is not. X is 90. It's 90. Yeah, X is 90. Okay. So I just write 90. No, no. X, there is no reason, I think. It's just 90 because they tell you this is 90. So it's a 40 divided by 2. So I don't need to write no, the, uh, uh, this one there is no reason because they label this as 90. Mm -hmm. X there is no reason. Okay? Yeah. Mm. Okay? Mm. Next. Oh, I need a question that this question. 7B, yeah. 7B, yes. So what's wrong? I, I cannot find it. I cannot, mm. I Actually, I think you need to, um, you need to draw a line, which is this. Draw a line here. Ah, then you can do the question already. Okay. Yeah. Did you? No. Ah, then? No? I didn't. No. Yeah. So just draw a line, then you can do it already. And by the way, this line is parallel to the, the above one and the below one. So this is a very common question also, which you need to add a line. Generally, you don't add a line first.
Mm, but yeah. Uh, WXZ, right? Mm, WX. WXZ? No, 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 oh, WX only. That, WX? Yeah, that, that, that. Which one? WX angle. There is no WX angle. It's VX. V is here. W is here. Oh, no, no, no. It's TVW. Oh, TVW, okay. That angle uh -huh. is 60. Yes, angles on a straight line, yeah. Yeah, angles mm. on a straight line. Yeah. This 60 is mm. equals to if you draw the red line across here, right? to 60. Here, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it called the corresponding? Corresponding. Yep. Why corresponding? Because it's an F. Oh, it's a corresponding. It's an F. It's an F. It's an inverted F. Yes. Yeah. Alternate is a Z. Alternate. Alternate is a Z. Like like this one. This is a Z. Yeah, corresponding. This is a Z. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I say Z or F, right, it can be an inverted Z, it can be a, a normal Z. Okay, yeah. Yes, so, mm. so the answer is 80 degrees. For? For this. A VXZ. VXZ, so it's the total. Yes. So this is 20. Yes. So it should be 80, right? Yes. I mean, the VXZ should be 80. Yes. Okay, so what, okay, if they ask you what is this angle, this is called a reflex. A reflex of angle VXE just for your information if they ask you for this this one it's called a reflex angle okay for your information so you take 360 you minus the 80 mm -hmm. okay so just for your information <coughs> okay good next Mm. So this is the way uh, use our formula yes. because the common difference is plus three, right? Yeah. Uh, so our formula is uh, first number yes. uh, plus the difference, plus the difference. then uh, dot n minus one, right? Yeah. So our first number is four, difference is three, n minus one. So you simplify this, open the bracket, three n minus three plus four, and then three uh, n plus one. Lah. So that's the, um, the formula. Lah. Yeah. Okay? So, yeah, I, that I is, got kids, mm. seven, I got it. Oh, you did it, yeah. okay, good. Yeah. Mm. But I, I need help for mm. the um, B poop. Because they asked for um, N, but I don't know how to do okay, that. Okay, I thought, I thought this one is 2 square. I thought we talked about this is 3 square. This is 4 square. This is 5 square. So what I observe is, is always N plus 1 square. You see, this is 2 plus 1 square. This is 1 plus 1 square. Okay. So this is 3 plus 1 square. This is 4 plus 1 square. Okay? We, I think we talked about this before. Yeah, we talked about this last week. Yeah. And okay. then I still remember, you say, I I did not manage to see this pattern. I did uh, manage. This is the second time you did not manage to see the pattern. So hopefully the next time, if this question ever comes out, okay, you should get it done. Uh. A third time. So you didn't get it the first time, you didn't get it the second time. If the third time you also don't get it, then I don't know when you are going to get it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe O level. <laughs> okay. okay. So this pattern is about observation now. This is about observation now. The yes. mm. uh, inequality can 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 yes, do? I can solve it. Mm. The maximum value. Okay, what's your inequality? I want to know. Inequality is, let me find it. Huh? Uh, I need to find the paper. Oh. This is a question. Oh, so I can. Eh, here, look. Oh. Question what? Uh? Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I need to minimize it a little bit. Question 9. Yeah. Oh. Uh. 30. So let me see the length. Okay, so it's uh, so I'm going to see this. A square is shaped from all from part. Okay, form a good x and solve it. Okay, a square of side two x is shaped from part or all of a string. Yeah, maximum is sixty eight. Then it can be equal to sixty eight. Okay, good. So do you need to switch the sign? No. Why not? 
negative number. Yeah. So only when you divide all times a negative number, then you okay. switch the sign, right? Yeah. Okay. In the cosine. So there, there's no need lah. Yeah. So in a way, this is uh, x is smaller or equal to 8.5. Yeah. They ask you to represent, right? How you represent? Did, did they ask you to represent this oh, number line? Mm, okay, so if I ask you to represent how you represent, we talk about it also. You, you have to draw a number line. Can you do it? Just below? Yeah. Can you just do this uh, below your... Uh, just like maybe some, some space here? If I ask you to represent this, so how you represent this? Uh, X is smaller or equal to 8.5. How do you represent it on a number line? So this is a number line. How do you represent this? Are you done? Oh, mm, okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Just represent it. Huh? Take so long. No lah, no need to be so detailed. Okay, I think you really need to uh, practice this uh, inequality a few more times. Okay, first thing first. No need to draw until so detailed. Okay, first thing first. Just get the 8.5 out. So if you want to tell a, a little bit more, can just maybe this is the eight, then this is the nine. That's it. No need. Good enough. Then x. This is what smaller than equal. So there is an equal sign. So it's a solid dot. Yeah. Oh, solid dot. Then smaller, smaller left or right? Um, this right, right, left, left. Left. left okay, left. left. That's it. That's how you represent this. Okay. Can. No need to draw the draw the the the, the smaller scale. No need. Okay, can not? That's how you represent. Then they say what? Write down the maximum integer of x. Eight, 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 eight. Integer lah, integer. Integer. Oh, that I got it correct. Yeah, integer is eight. Yeah. Okay, good. Next. But 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 your this, if you are asked to draw the inequality line, you are wrong. Okay. Okay. So please practice this. In a, I mean, go back and look look at your uh, inequality questions. I think we will have practiced like. Three questions already. Okay. So without the equal sign, it's a hollow. Yeah, hollow dot. So it's, let's say x bigger than eight lah. Huh? So how you do this? You just go to eight. And you just hollow, then bigger right. Go to the right. Yeah. Okay. So this is your. Okay. Okay. Yes. Mm. Let me just erase this. Uh, by the way, uh, if you are you are drawing the number line, uh, so I hope you use a ruler, yeah. okay? Because you have a ruler, okay? Just make it straight. Okay, good. Next. <coughs> uh, oh yeah, I never learned pie chart before, so I'm not really sure about. Oh, pie chart is about proportionality. Pie chart is about proportionality. So what do I mean by that? You don't have to learn, because it's about proportionality. Okay, so. Um, let's talk about it because soon you need to do it so for a pie chart right what you have is you have a center of the circle right one round is 360 degree right yeah. okay good so that means everything must 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 uh i call it must uh must be based on this 360 or being everything must mm -hmm. be referenced to this 360 degree so that means the one whole uh, is 360 degree Okay, so now let's say we are talking about let's say um mathematics students that have uh maths uh tuition let's say twelve of them Chinese ten English 
30 okay first um, maybe I should use a better number yeah good 14 is a good number because add up to 36 so so 36 people is 360 degree okay so what is the angle that represent this mathematics so 12p is how many degree so from 36 to 12p you divide by 3 right so same thing like your degree also must divide by 3 so 120 degree to represent 12p so just use your uh, protractor then you just measure uh, so this is 90 right so you measure another 30 so this is 120 in imagine that uh, this is 120 so this is the math student uh. okay so 10 okay so uh this to this is divided by 3.6 right then you also need to divide by 3.6 uh. so i think it should be 100 uh. so 100 degree so so this is 90 this is 90 uh. So hundred in another ten. Mm -hmm. So you use, use a projector la. Oh, this is my, my one is free hand mm -hmm. So this is your hundred. So this is uh, Chinese. Okay? Then of course this has to be the fourteen la, which is uh, uh, English. So does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. That's it. Okay? So you have no excuse, you have not learned pie chart. Actually you don't have to learn. It's about proportionality. Okay? So similarly, hundred and 20 degree you reference this to 360 degree so it's one third of it right yeah. okay then the 80 80 over 360 <coughs> yeah what's the fraction two over, nine. Mm, 2 over 9 right okay so in a way right if you okay you can do it in degree mode or you can do it in fraction mode so it's really up to you so I think it's better to do it in fraction mode lah. Do you know why? Because your everything here is in uh, degree mode. Okay, so it's basically 120 degree plus the 80 degree plus the 4x because it's x. This is 3x is 4x equal to 260 degree. Then you can find out x is how many degree already. Yeah. yeah? So once you find out the x is equal to how many degree, then you ask to find the percentage, right? Yeah. So when you find the percentage, is it angle over angle? Ah, so you use the proportionality. Get it into fraction. Okay, so what's your x? My x is forty. Never mind, forty. Okay, so x is three x is equal to hundred and twenty, which is not poor. Okay, so in order to get percentage right, get it into fraction first. So hundred and twenty over three hundred sixty is one third, right? So the percentage is 33.13 Because it's going to be 33 point da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, so it's 33 one third percent Did you get 33? I put 33.3 then a dot percent uh, Okay, uh, yes, so you are trying to be a uh, little bit smart because <laughs> very seldom people will use a dot but just get it into 33 and one third Maybe next time you can try lah See whether your teacher will give you a bonus one mark or your teacher will penalize you. Okay? I think it, it's good to test. La. Huh? Okay? Good. Very good. So, uh, can be... Uh, but you cannot write 33.3 like that. Eh? You know why? Without the dot. Because the for the answer, right? Unless they say round up or round down. You always give the most exact one. Understand? Always give the most exam. The most exam is either this or this. Okay? Then uh, this says uh, 40, what would like to decide the most find the total number of cases survey. So 40 of them. One, to visit China. So 2 over 9 is 40. Yeah. So what's that? Yeah? Divide by this uh, fraction, no? yeah. you get the entire the entire thing. So it's 180, I guess. Yes. Mm, okay. Simple, eh? Mm. <coughs> okay. 10. You don't know how to read? Ah? I know how to read. Uh, so you need help for the 10? I need help for... I need help for... 
Nine. Nine. Done. Nine is. Nine is the graph. Ah, uh, the 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 chart. I need like I need for some regular poly. Which nine? The paper two nine or this paper one nine? Paper two nine. Paper two nine. Okay, let me see paper two nine. Okay, let me just talk about two first. This two, ah, uh, what's your answer? Because one of my students get it wrong. Answer is HCF. HCF. Yeah. Is no, they want prime factorization. They don't want the exact number. Then it is times seven mm -hmm. a cube mm -hmm. times Correct. So they want this. Okay? Read the question, they want this. But if they one. want product ma product times is a product ma. Okay. Yeah, okay. If you give the exact answer, no mark. Uh. Read the question. Okay. Don't lose this one mark uh, unnecessarily. Okay. Next one. Any question four. <coughs> question four. Yeah. Ah, this question, yes. So, echo charges spectral at, uh, so it's X cent mm -hmm. per liter. So Mr. Ng was charged Y dollar when he went to the one one day. Y dollar, so Y dollar is how many cents? Y times hundred. So hundred Y cents. Yeah. See, yep. about that. Then after that, th that's not the end, right? It's not the end. Yeah. So so then uh they ask as well number of liter pump in terms. So you have this hundred Y cent. You think you divide it by this or this one divided by this? Of course, you use the money divided by the unit. Lah. The total money that you have, you divide by this unit. So yes. it's 100Y over, 100 y over X. X. That's the little. Yes. Yeah, okay. So that's the answer. I put Y over X. Some Y over because X. It, because I didn't think, I thought about 100 cents. Must be cent and cent. Lah. Cannot yeah, be dollar I'm, and... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's so this basically they test you the the, the, the unit. Okay. In fact, behind there is a question that um, you also need to change the unit. That question is a speed. Yeah. Uh, the one of the student. Uh, okay. I send this uh, I send this paper to the other student. The other student never changed the unit. Never change the unit for this question. Never change the unit for the speed question also. Okay. So they just do it blindly. So in fact, right? You know. When it comes to this, um, when it comes to this paper, right, or any paper, exam papers, right, out there, right, so you have to read the question. Okay, so, so what I'm trying to say, right, is those days in the past when I was a student, I was afraid of not changing the unit. But why these days I will not make, I, I think I seldom will make the never change the unit uh, mistake. Because I always write things out with a unit. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is this. Let me do the speed question with you. How I avoid making that mistake of not converting units to the same unit. So what I see here is I see 3.5 kilometer. And I see this is kilometer per hour. Okay, good. So this is the same unit. Okay, I can just do the divide to get the time. And the time is in hour right if I get it out yeah. so this is an hour they want what minutes okay so you see therefore what you need to do right you need to uh, be very particular about unit that means you need to know uh, when you get that value that value is what you need okay? if you don't know that value is what you need then it's wrong Okay. So this is H, you still need to times 60. Yeah, okay? Yeah, never mind. Next. So where they ask for the kilometer per hour, right? So you look at this. This is kilometer, but this is in minute. So you need to change the minute to hour. So you use 1.2 divided by this. Then you will get the kilometer per hour. Just use your calculator. Okay? So not only for this question, okay? For all questions, cent, dollar, cent, dollar, or uh, kilometer to meter of the um, you know meter meter cube and then the cm cube that kind of question okay okay 
Can not. Mm, okay, so yeah, that's it. And actually, what is your answer for this? Uh, for that in minutes. Yeah. No, for your hour, your, 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 you 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 never change your day. Twelve hour. Twelve hour. Wow, twelve hour only walk. Seven over twelve. Oh, seven over twelve hour. Yeah, okay. it's equal to thirty-five minutes. Oh, okay. Because okay. I converted in minutes. Mm. Okay, never mind. So yeah. So, in a way, right? You remember one, you never, <coughs> you never remember the other one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it's okay. So, uh, she made the mistake. You also make the mistake. You thought that you never make the mistake, but. You also make the mistake. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. This is so common. This is so common among students. Yeah. Okay. B and C are all, all made. It's always KM and hour. I write KM and minutes. There is no KM in minute. The standard unit, uh, SI unit uh, for yeah, speed is like, meter is per second or meter per hour. Yeah. Okay. Unless they, they force you. Like, they force. Okay. If they never ask, uh, they never say, uh, must either in this or this. You don't give meter per minute, no. Uh. Wrong. Uh. Wrong. Uh. SI unit means, uh, let's say if I ask for the unit of length in Singapore, uh, you give either CM or meter. Mm -hmm. You don't give inch. You don't give me feet. You understand? Yeah. Uh, so that's called the SI unit. Okay? Uh, international unit. Okay? Then of course the average speed is, um, yeah, you need to... <coughs> Okay? Other question? Oh, I want to talk about this eight first. Actually, there is a very key word here. The ten percent imposed, then followed by the seven percent. You know what it means? Yes. What it means? Did it's we talk about it the other uh, time? I'm not sure. Did I talk about it with you or somebody else? I think you talked. Okay. So let's say if hundred dollars. Okay. So the the ten percent will go in first. Yeah. Then you times another seven. So if it, the ten percent go in, right? It will be one one zero. Then the seven percent will apply to this or apply to this? What do you think? Apply to the one one zero. Correct. Okay. So you must do it step by step. Yes. You don't do it like this, oh. I got one student. I do it like this. Ah, uh, this ten percent. One plus ten percent. So basically, it's one point one seven. Yeah. Wrong, lor. Oh. End up wrong. Why? Why is it one point one? Because seven percent plus the ten percent is seventeen percent, ma. Yeah. So seventeen percent more means one point one seven. That means seventeen percent more means one one seven percent. One one seven percent is one point one in decimal number. Wow. Oh. Ah. Okay. So straight away, she made this mistake. You need to read the question and follow by eh. Okay. So you have to do it. Uh, ten percent first, get the hundred and ten. Then the seven percent will apply to the hundred and ten. Yes. Okay. So then you will get the correct answer. Yeah. <coughs> uh, you mean nine? Ah? Yeah. In nine, we talk about it. But my uh, my head or my brain. Okay. It take it, it take a while. It take a while to register this. Um. So uh, you have the interior angle. You have the exterior angle. So yeah. what is the exterior angle? That's the the keyword. Ah. Let me get a. Uh, oh, let me get it out first. So this is a pentagon. Uh. So this is a regular pentagon. So all angles are the same, right? Mm -hmm. So if all angles are the same, how do you get the angle? So you just use n minus two times hundred eighty. This will give you the sum of interior and uh, interior angle, right? Yeah. Interior or uh, not anti internal? Uh. That's another one. Uh. Uh, so uh, 5 minus 2, bracket 180. So this is. Uh, can you help me out? 540. Mm. So 540. So you want to find one of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 of them. So divide by 5. Oh, use calculator. Lah. <laughs> Why you want to attempt to use your brain? 60 No, 540 divided by 5 Oh What are we talking about? 108 mm, 108 Okay, good So this is 108 Right? So now This is called the What angle is this? Uh, exterior angle No We just talked about oh, this oh, angle oh, 
No. No. What is this angle call? If this is 108. What is this angle call? We just talked about this just now. How do you find this angle? Uh, 360. Yes. So what is this angle call? We just talked about it. Start with R. Reverse. Wow. Reflex. Oh yeah, reflex. Yes, okay. You need to know. You need to know. Reflex. Okay. Then the external angle is this. Okay. It depends how you look. Ah, uh. you can look at it from the clockwise, or you can look at it from the anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. So which one you want to go? Clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Good. So, let's talk about this side first. Ah. Uh. So this side, you want to go clockwise, right? Clockwise, okay, clockwise means like this, ah. Uh. Yes. So that's what that this therefore this side, ah, uh, you extend. Straight line, ah, uh, straight line. Straight line. Okay. So this is called the exter exterior angle. Oh. So hundred eighty minus the hundred o eight, the exter exterior angle for this is seventy two degree. Yes. So for this side, same thing, extend. Clockwise, ah. Uh. Point that side, ah. So extend. Can you see the difference from the reflex and the exterior? The exterior will be seventy-two or so. So you have five interior, you have five exterior. Does it make sense? Okay, so this is the understanding. So they say what? The ratio of the interior, the exterior, very easy. Seven u and then two u. So nine u is hundred eighty because they will give you nine hundred eighty, right? Ah, so U is 20. Uh. Ah. Yeah. So which one they want? They want so the interior is 140. They want the value of N. Uh, outside is... Uh, interior is 40. 140. Yeah. Okay. So 140. So you N minus the... Uh, minus the 2 times the 180, right? This will give you the sum of interior, right? Another sum of interior is 140 times the n. Yeah. Then you solve for n, right? Solve for n. Then that's really, that, that will give you the number of sides. <coughs> okay. Then you solve for n. Okay. Then you solve for n. Okay. Then after this, you have to uh, take another. Wait, Mr. Lu. Yes. Uh, you, you, uh, n minus 2 times 180. Can you open the bracket and solve this? Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. Yeah. Okay, no, no, you need to do it. I want to.